Hello everyone, another post bag video for you. Yes, another post bag video. I've got more items from AliExpress uh, and we will go through them. I will open them up, show you what the items are, uh, I'll explain what the four uh, projects that I've got in mind and I will put a link to the item where I bought them from on AliExpress in the description below and as usual they will try to be an affiliate link so if you click on it uh, and go through and purchase something on AliExpress I will get a little kickback which would be great uh, I've been checking my analytics actually on um, AliExpress affiliates and I have noticed when I publish videos some of the items that I show on there do actually get purchased uh, so I do, I do see that it is actually working which is really great so I'm quite keen on keeping these videos going uh, I just need to turn all this stuff into actual projects as well which would be great uh, but anyhow, let's go and have a look at the items. Let's get stuck in. First one. Alright, yes. This is a set of wire crimp tube connectors. Let's open it up. couple out. Uh, so these are tube crimp connectors for wires so instead of uh, soldering bare wire or crimping up bare wire onto terminal blocks you actually put the wire inside the tube, crimp the tube and then you've got a nice clean solid connection to go onto your terminal block. Uh, it's a lot safer than frayed wires or soldered wires. Uh, I'm going to be using this for uh, 3D printer you're putting into terminal box uh, when you're passing through a lot of high current you don't want any frayed wires or any solder where that might melt and become cause a, a spark or a short so yeah handy little item handy to have dirt cheap it goes from 22 AWG to 14 AWG and all the numbers in between which caters for most DIY hobby stuff um, most we're using the large stuff that's going into the terminal box yeah handy item in a cool little box that was about four pounds something like that dirt cheap next item these look like voltage regulators some reason I bought lots of voltage regulators and some of the same and these ones are LM triple one seven so these are 3.3 voltage regulators uh, nothing more to add to that uh, unregulated high voltage on the input and then the output you get a regulated 3.3 uh, volt out uh, source with a couple of capacitors to clean it up yeah, again I want to be doing some more projects where I've got a fully finished power regulator in the project so I just wanted some voltage regulators to test and play with next one a few items in here Ah, 3D printing for a change. Ah, yes. There's a few items in here. One of them is stuck in here. A Mark 8 drive gear pulley. So this goes in your extruder and pushes slash pulls the filament through using the little teeth. Uh, my grub screw uh, it connects to the actual drive shaft of the stepper motor uh, and mine is becoming a little worse for wear it seems to have taken a bit of a beating it's actually coming loose causing the filament to skip so I just needed a spare so this was ordered and along with that I've got a few of these spare nozzles So 
So these are three different sizes. There's 0.4s, which are those ones. There are 0.8s, not 0.8s, which are larger. And these are actually 0.2 millimeters. So these are really fine nozzle uh, for doing really fine, intricate, detailed work. Uh, they're a bit of a test. They're a bit of a test to see if you can do high speed large items and they are lots of 0.4 spare nozzles. Let's get a 0.2 out. I'll show you the difference. You can see compatible with the E3D system, which is what I use. See if you can see the difference here. So you can see 0 0.4 on the left and 0 0.2 on the right. It's a lot smaller hole, so you get a finer bead of filament, which means you can get higher resolution detail and hopefully get more detailed prints. That's the idea, but more things can go wrong with a smaller hole. That's what she said. Next item. Okay. We've got, oh, this looks familiar. Wow, lots of bits. Need soldering. This is a Max uh, 7219 LED driver board. These are very common. Put in your projects. Um, get a lot of these just pre uh, pre soldered together. But if you see one of my other videos, probably up there somewhere, uh, I've got a lot of SMD uh, surface mount uh, components that I'm going to testing in fact whoa there's a tiny there's a couple didn't even spot them uh, so this is is a led matrix kit but it's not soldered so you need to learn to solder all the items together including uh, including these tiny little things that disappear when you drop them on camera onto your floor. So yeah, just a handy little thing to have when you're testing, doing displays, uh, and I just wanted to test my soldering skills. I'm gonna put that away on off camera because it is tiny. And this thing uh, is, Yes, it's an ESP8266, more specifically an ESP01 uh, development board, essentially. Um, you plug the USB into your programmer, it's a USB to serial converter. You put the ESP01 board in there from the arrow, from what I've heard, it points that way. And you can program the ESP8266. Uh, ready to embed in your projects. It's handy if you just need to access the board uh, and upload a sketch or something. Not very good for developing and prototyping, but if you just need to throw up some code onto the chip, this is really handy. So again, dirt cheap into the into the parts drawer. Ooh, get back. Last item. Items. This tiny, tiny circuit board is a Max 3100 um, heart rate monitor chip. Um, it's got various components on there, but the chip is in the middle, uh, and you put your finger or thumb over the sensor 
and using some Arduino libraries, you can get your a heartbeat and I believe your oxygen level as well. I think what it does, it shines an LED, similar to the hospital ones and the things on your back of your phone. This is essentially what's on a lot of new smartphones like the Samsung uh, S8, S7 and above. You put your finger over it, it shines an LED into your finger and then there's a sensor that detects essentially the different pulsing uh, feedback it sees inside your finger, which is essentially your blood. Pretty, uh, pretty fascinating. I wanted to give this a go uh, and along with probably the uh, LED display just have a little project where you can put your finger on it and it will just show you your pulse which is pretty cool um, yeah it's tiny it's got a few header pins as well wow more voltage regulators I, I think I was asleep when I was ordering all these never have too many though right if you use them so that pack is a, it's like a 7805, so this is a 5 volt voltage regulator, ideal for powering Arduinos and various projects that need 5 volts from a higher source. So I'm going to set up for the other one, you get an unregulated higher voltage and on the input and on the output you get a regulated 5 volt along with some capacitors to help smooth everything out. That's about it for them. Lots of regulators. Uh -huh. And this one. How do I get in? Let me get some scissors. Yeah, so essentially this is the same as that. It is a Max 7219. Uh, is that the right name? Yep. It's a Max 7219 uh, LED matrix board. So it's the same as this. You basically got four boards all soldered together. You've got four LED matrixes all together and they basically daisy chained one after the other. And you've got an output uh, and you input your, you connect your Arduino to one end and then you can use this as a uh, 8 by uh, 32 8 by 32 display um, I've put a video up here of my channel update right at the end there there's a, a clip of a YouTube subscribe account this is an example of one I've got uh, and just has a little ticker display going across I wanted to do some other projects with these uh, these are dirt cheap, things like three pounds, something crazy, really cheap. Uh, so yeah, got this in. Might even use this for the, the heart rate monitor thing. So you have a, a bit more stats on it. But dead easy to set up and really handy to have. So that is it. And that is all for today. Cheers guys. Don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and hit that little bell to get notified when I upload some new videos, especially new postbag videos. Thanks a lot guys. Cheers.